this will be a very short video so i'm just going straight to the point uh, this video is all about we are preparing our previous efi like those who are already using sonoma and ventura and want to upgrade to sequoia like mac os 15 we are going to prepare our efi for sequoia i mean we are going to use the previous efi the previous one we used for sonoma we are going to use that one so without spending my time let's proceed from here make sure you don't update your efi through this op ocat op or auxiliary tool you don't have to update it there because you will lose your gui that's why i kept it like that so you will load your efi we are going to do just one thing just one thing we will add to our efi so just follow the video very carefully and see whatever I'm doing. If anything you don't understand, just DM me. You just load your EFI. Once loaded, you make sure you check the files, everything is in place. You just go to the NVRAM section. So you just check everything. Like my, I'm giving you a full detail. Because this is the previous EFI that is haven't created a new, new one. So just go to your uh, boot tags, whatever boot tag is there, I make sure I delete everything and I'll add Lilu, Lilu better all. Uh -huh. You add Lilu better all to your EFI. I mean your boot tags. No, this is that the only thing you have to add. Do not add anything else. Do not add anything else. You only add little better or to the EFI. Take take note whether it's laptop or a computer. Just add that boot tag to your previous EFI, and trust me, that's the only thing you need to do. I know most already know their way out. That's why I make this short video before I post the full video. This is preparation for the macro sequoia. So once you add the boot tag, you save the EFI, you put it on a pen drive, and there you are good to go.
a few moments later.